In order to show you how easy it is to actually create a beat grid, I'm going to quickly go through these two songs that we're going to be using in this demonstration and create the beat grids for them. I'm going to use a series of hotkeys, which you can find on djtechtools.com, which when used in combination, allow you to quickly, using the keyboard, scroll through and set a beat grid on a song. I'm basically trying to line up these lines with the transients of the track. There's also a tutorial here on our YouTube channel which shows you in more detail how to create an effective beat grid. I recommend you check that out as well. We're going to play this track from the beginning and then play this track. And we're going to use the sync to manual or rather automatically sync up the phase of the two songs. You can hear that it's actually off, but by adjusting the phase adjustment or the position of the song, this song relative to this one, I can get them back and running in time. The reason for this is because Tractor is not matching up the two songs with each other. Because I've dropped a beat grid, what Tractor is doing is lining up this grid with this one. So if the two songs are not working well together, all you need to do is adjust the position of the beat grid. That can be done in your BPM window with these two functions here. If we pause these songs and go back to the beginning, you'll see that as I click on this button, the grid will actually physically move to the left or right. So if you have the two songs perfectly in sync, audibly, but the phase is off, in other words, that's pretty much where you want it, but this is off, you're gonna to need to adjust the beginning of one of the beat grids until the phase, as you can see here, is perfectly in the center. So now when you hit sync, Tractor is going to match this song to this song in that position, and they'll always be locked up. Even though you could match up each track with another track when this problem comes up by hand, either by clicking on these buttons or assigning them to a MIDI controller, that would get a little tedious. Um, an alternative is setting this up in advance by syncing each song not to another deck, but to a common master deck, which would be the master clock and the master tick. In order to access this window, you need to right click and go to clock. Um, there, we can go ahead and turn on the master tick, which you can hear clicking away. That master click or tick is adjusted by the master tempo. Um, it's essentially a deck, and then you can sync any other deck to that. And if each deck's beat grid is matched to this master click, then they should each be more accurately lined up with each other when you mix different songs together. Um, in order to match this deck up to this click, it's really done the same way. I'll go ahead and adjust this beat grid a little bit. We'll start the master click, make this the master deck, and we're going to slave this one to it and start the song. It's pretty close, but it's clearly a little off. So we'll adjust it until the two are phasing. They really sound like two decks should be in the in that the rhythm is working together. Now we need to adjust the beat grid of this deck so it matches. So there it is. Now if we hit sync to sync up this deck to this master click, it will always be in time.